Hey there pirates! Welcome aboard the Anime Nomi channel. The crew of Shanks is mainly known for its power, but there is another characteristic that differentiates this crew from all the others we know in the anime and manga. None of the crew members use the power of a devil fruit. However, we have seen Shanks with a devil fruit, which brings us to the revelation of a great secret. Before I reveal all this to you, I count on your support to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I also hope I can help you achieve your dream of learning to draw your favorite anime and manga characters doing whatever you want in the way you imagined, something that becomes easy when you have access to the incredible course, Anime Express, by teacher Noah Williams, which costs less than $1 a day. So check the link in the description to learn in just a few weeks. Now, let's get to the video. In Chapter 1047 of One Piece, Kaido revealed that Luffy cannot guarantee victory solely with the power of his devil fruit. Kaido said this because the Pirate King, Goldie Roger, did not have nor needed a devil fruit to be the most powerful of his time. Roger only used his hockey, a special energy from his vitality, which he mastered very well. This information was already implied because at Roger's execution, he was bound to a wooden platform and not in Kairoseki cuffs, which are made of a special stone that weakens devil fruit powers. This already showed that Roger did not have a devil fruit, but was still incredibly strong. This introduction about the Pirate King is important for us to talk about Shanks. When he was younger, Shanks was part of Roger's pirate crew. So, if Roger had a secret reason for his crew members not to use the powers of these fruits, Shanks would know this reason and could have replicated this idea in his own crew. Even though the crew members did not eat devil fruits, they still sought them out. In an isolated case, we saw Shanks's crew face a former Cypher Pole member to steal the fruit known as the Gomu Gomu no Mi. But there was a reason for this. This fruit hid a secret. It was the ancient devil fruit of Joy Boy, a legendary character, and its awakening signified a great change for the world's history. So, the fruit being with Shanks had a purpose from the moment he found it. Shanks knew that this fruit would only be eaten by someone chosen by the Hito Hito no Mi model Nika. In this case, that someone was Luffy. The Hito Hito no Mi model Nika is a special fruit that transforms its user into a godlike figure with incredible powers. But this does not mean that it was the only fruit Shanks crew possessed. After all, one thing we saw with the Pirate King's crew was that even if they did not eat the fruits, they sought them out and kept them on their ship. We saw this, for example, when Buggy, one of the crew members, tried to steal a devil fruit. He accidentally ended up eating the Barabara no Mi, which gave him the power to split into pieces. This shows that even if they did not use devil fruits to gain powers, they understood the importance of these fruits and kept them safe. Shanks probably learned this from Roger and continued this practice in his own crew to ensure that devil fruits were only used when truly necessary. Some people might say that they seek these fruits only for their financial value. After all, we saw that Law's fruit, for example, could be sold for over 5 billion berries, something that would surpass even the bounties of Yonkus. But that is not the reason they have these fruits. If money were the main motivation of Shanks' crew, he would be moving more visibly than we currently see, expanding his territory and initiating external ventures like other pirates have done. Devil fruits, mysterious and powerful, have been a constant in Luffy and his crew's adventures. It is said that these fruits arise from the deepest desires of humanity, if we think about it. Each fruit, with its unique and strange powers, could represent a longing, a need, or a dream long lost in time. Goldie Roger and his crew were the first to reach Laugh Tale, the legendary island where the One Piece resides. When they finally arrived, what they found made them all laugh. This laughter was not of mockery, but perhaps of realization and understanding. What they discovered in Laugh Tale, what they understood, might be directly linked to the desires that Devil Fruits embody. Imagine that Laugh Tale contains the deepest secret of humanity's desires. Perhaps the very existence of Devil Fruits is intrinsically connected to this secret. When Roger and his crew laughed, they might have understood that the fruits are fragments of human desires, scattered around the world as clues or preparations for something greater. Now talking about Shanks, who is one of the Yonku and, as you know, a former member of Roger's crew, he has always been a figure shrouded in mystery and respect. His act of gathering devil fruits might not be simply to gain power or control others. Instead, Shanks might be guarding these fruits because he understands their connection to Laugh Tale and human desires. He might be seeking to protect these fruits to prevent them from falling into the wrong hands. Or perhaps he is trying to gather the right number or types of fruits for something we do not yet fully understand. 
It could be that, to fully reveal Laftail's secret, a certain number of devil fruits need to be present, or certain desires need to be manifested through them, and in the end, the presence of the Sun God Nika fruit user is essential. Thus, Shank's mission might be the key to the next great discovery in the world of One Piece. His understanding of Devil Fruits and Laugh Tale might be setting the stage for the climax of Luffy's journey. Just like Roger, Shanks knows something that is still beyond our understanding, something that will only be revealed at the right moment. And Buggy can confirm all this. Flashbacks have shown us that, when they were young, Buggy accidentally ate a Devil Fruit due to a mix-up involving Shanks. This fruit, which gave him the ability to dismember himself, also brought with it the inability to swim, a heavy burden for any pirate. Buggy holds a grudge against Shanks to this day, believing that his chance to achieve certain dreams was taken from him at that moment, and considering the weight of all this, we can believe it is not simply because he can no longer swim. The fact that Goldie Rogers' crew, except for Buggy, did not have members with devil fruit powers was certainly a conscious choice by Roger, perhaps due to the knowledge he had about Laugh Tale and the world's secrets. After all, the only member with a devil fruit was also the only one who couldn't reach the last island. When Roger's crew finally got there, they all laughed upon discovering the great secret the world was seeking. However, Buggy could not participate in that moment, as during the journey to Laugh Tale, Buggy mysteriously fell ill, preventing him from continuing with the rest of the crew. Shanks then stayed behind to take care of him. And if the reason why Shanks took care of Buggy during this journey goes beyond simple friendship, Shanks knew that Buggy could not go to Laugh Tale, not because of an ordinary illness, but because of the devil fruit he ate due to Shanks' fault. Shanks may have felt enormous guilt, knowing that he indirectly deprived Buggy of the chance to see the greatest treasure in the world, a deep desire shared by the entire crew. Buggy, being the only member of Roger's crew with a devil fruit, may have felt especially frustrated realizing that this same fruit prevented him from reaching Laugh Tale. The grudge he holds against Shanks is therefore a mix of envy, frustration, and a feeling of having been unfairly deprived of his dream. For Buggy, the Devil Fruit not only brought unwanted powers, but also kept him away from the greatest achievement of his life. Shanks, on the other hand, stayed behind because he felt the guilt and responsibility of having caused this frustration in Buggy. His collection of Devil Fruits may be an attempt to better understand these powerful objects and, perhaps, to prevent other people from suffering the same consequences. Buggy did. Shanks may be trying to protect the world from a power he knows to be dangerous and limiting, especially after the arrival of the Sun God in that place. Shanks is more than an apprentice of Goldie Roger. He carries the legacy of the legendary Pirate King. He not only succeeded Roger, but also became the guide of Monkey D. Luffy, the next Joy Boy, the man Roger was hoping for. Shanks recognized in Luffy the qualities that Roger admired, and that is why he gave his straw hat to him, passing on the responsibility of continuing Roger's dream. Goldie Roger discovered the world's secrets in Laugh Tale, and knew that his time was limited. He believed that the next generation would fulfill his dreams and entrusted Shanks with the mission to protect this legacy. Shanks took on the role of guardian, influencing events so that Luffy could grow and strengthen on his own. So every step of Shanks is planned, and for this reason, we imagine that the fact he does not have a devil fruit has a great significance for the story. Comment, what do you think about this? That's a wrap for today's content. We hope you enjoyed it and want to share your thoughts on the subject. Don't forget to share the video, give it a thumbs up, and catch you in the next video. Take care and stay awesome.